In this video, I go over five categories of running gates. As a recreational runner, I often get questions about running from random people and some of their questions prompted the topic of this video. So after my stretch, the sun's coming out now, I changed my hairband. Supposed to be record temperatures today, but I did get my hydration in and I'm going to continue to do that throughout the day. The path is so narrow. In theory, running is as easy as slipping on a pair of running shoes, picking your path and go. Unfortunately, it's more complex because several factors can get in the way of putting one foot in front of the other. One in particular is your running gait. While running, I noticed different runners have different running styles. Some make it seem effortless while others show struggle in their running stride. Additionally, did you know your foot can interact with the ground in different ways? As you can see in this video, my foot interaction sometimes is different. I will pronate my foot, that means my foot rolls inward. I also do supinate my foot, that means my foot rolls outward. And sometimes my foot stays neutral, that means it doesn't roll on either side. Gait and stride are different things. Gait refers to the cycle your leg travels through during one step and stride length is the distance covered between the spot where one foot hits the ground and the next time that same foot hits the ground again.
Strength deficiencies in different areas of the body can cause running gait struggles due to the pathomechanics or the improper body alignment that limits function or efficiency of running. Now that you have an understanding of what running gates are, let's go over their five main categories. One category is the overstrider. Runners who run with their foot out in front of them with less bend in the knees and toes pointed towards the sky. The bouncer. Runners who push themselves up instead of pushing and propelling themselves forward. The result? You take off earlier and move straight up and down. Tight cars or weakness in your gluteus or back may be the reason for this running gait. Another category, the gluteus amnesiac. Believe it or not, runners who overuse their hamstrings, calves, and lower back muscles to power their run instead of engaging in their gluteus. The weaver. Runners who operate on a narrow base of support when the leg lands too close to the body midline. In the next video, we will look at the 5 causes for running gates. Be sure to subscribe so that you can be notified when that video is posted. Now go ahead and like, share, subscribe and leave a comment of your running gait style. Thank you. Can I get a, one of those? Ha <laughs> ha